Assalamu alaikum. Hi everyone. We are the group 5 of section A1 of electrical J6 batch. We are performing a project named remote controlled mouse. And this project is performed under electrical 316 lab microprocessor interfacing session. Our project is divided into two parts. We have first remote control and second is mouse. And I am here giving an overview of remote control. The first part is consists of two things, remote system and remote decoding. The remote system is based on the signaling method of the remote and remote decoding is the decoding method of the that remote signal. And our remote control is based on Sony remote system. That is the protocol. And the second part consists of mouse signaling and USB system. Our remote signal consists of a data stream of 15 bits. And here the first 7 bits are the common bits. And the rest of the bits are addressing bits and device bits. And we will discuss this addressing bits and device bits as these bits does not concern our project. And we will just work with the common bits. Our common bits are a modulated web of 38 kilohertz. In the ideal state, the remote will send no signal and when we press any button, it will start to send a data stream by a start bit. The start bit will consist of 2400 microsecond high state and 2600 microsecond low state. Then it will start to send the rest of the data. The remote, in the remote signal, the one is indicated by 1200 microsecond high state and 600 microsecond low state. And in, when the remote sends zero, that, that is indicated by 600 microsecond high state and 600 microsecond low state. And in this way, the remote signal is sent. And now we start with remote decoding, that is how we receive the remote control signal with microcontroller. But before explaining that, we first need the IO decoder. Actually, remote control sends IR signal and we receive it with an IO decoder. It is a 3-pin device. With G this pin is GND, this pin is DCC, and this pin is output. Okay, uh, this IR detector actually gives the demodulated wave. So we don't care about the 38 kilohertz modulated signal. This signal actually demodulates the signal and gives us these types of data stream, not the modulated type data stream. This device gives the inverted output. So at the idle state, that is here, it gives 5 volt. And when the remote says signal, it gives low signal. So for start bit, we have about 200 and 4000 microsecond low and 600 microsecond high. And this is implemented in our microcontroller where we use interrupt system to, to decode the signal to receive the signal. Okay, thanks. Okay, now I am trying to make you understand the mechanism of mouse signaling. Actually, mouse sends 32 bits and th these 32 bits are divided into four categories and each category has 8 bits. The first 8 bits control the mechanism of button. The first bit is for left click, then the second bit is for right click, the third bit is for middle click. The fourth bit is always high, this is one. The fifth bit does a special job. When you want to move the mouse right or left and if this bit is equal to 1, then it will try to move the mouse upward like this. The next bit does the same job. If you try to uh, control this type of movement of the mouse, then if this bit is equal to 1, it will try to move it to right or left. And the last two bits are for overflow bits. That means if your mouse is at the edge of your computer monitor, then it will come into work. But we have not used this bit. Then 8 bits control the position of x-axis of your mouse. The next 8 bits control the position of your y-axis. And the last 8 bits control the position of your wheel. It does the work of scrolling or rotation of your mouse. And the it is to be noted that these bits are always signed bits. These are not unsigned. Uh, the limit is minus 182 plus 
127. Now let us start USB. Uh, in USB port we have four pins for uh, data sending, receiving and power. First one is VCC. Uh, uh, it gives plus 5 volt. It will take plus 5 volt from, com uh, from computer. Then it is data minus pin, then data plus pin and the last one is ground. In our project we use VUSB library for uh, making a communication with PC and uh, our microcontrollers. This is our code. Uh, here this is the USB HID report descriptor for mouse. This, uh, uh, this is the device ID for mouse and all data for mouse are provided here. The, uh, this is for X position, this is Y, this is wheel and uh, here th this is the button. All data are given and for uh, changing these data, uh, there is an structure. This is the structure. Uh, all values can be changed using this structure and uh, it is import buffer, our structure name. In main function, at first uh, we enable watchdog, then uh, debug, then USB device is disconnected for 250 millisecond. Uh, then we initialize uh, our microcontroller, enable interrupt. Then uh, we call this function USB pole. This function just send this uh, 52 data uh, to our PC so that our PC can detect our microcontroller as an USB mouse. Now, after sending the uh, uh, this descriptor, uh, we check USB interrupt is ready. This function, this uh, function return true value if the interrupt works correctly. Then uh, we enter here. Uh, here we decode our uh, uh, remote signal. Uh, code and we call IR reader function for decoding remote uh, and send the command. We just take first seven bits uh, and then we done our job, particular job for each button. This is for volume plus, volume minus. For each button uh, from Sony data sheet, we uh, we collect the values and we define here and uh, we perform a definite task here for volume plus. We uh, we change uh, the position of mouse volume minus also channel plus is for up channel minus for down uh, and here for wheel wheel this is left click this is right click and etc etc this all uh, jobs are performed in this way and uh, we finished our uh, program the most important part of our project is the IR receiver and the receiver output is taken from the pin 5 of the microcontroller. Here we have used microcontroller Atmega 8L. This is the power LED of our circuit and here is the register in series with this power LED. This is the USB, USB point of our circuit and it takes power from the computer. There are two Gina diodes connected with it. Uh, we need Gina diodes because the USB doesn't operate on 5 volt, it works on 3.3 volt. So we have used two Gina diodes of 3.3 volts. This is the block diagram of our circuit. Well, let us demonstrate the remote control mouse. Before this, we want to show you that we have got the mouse here. Uh, so, we point to the my computer icon, right click it, and go to property, click it. And here we are going to choose the hardware option. Click it. Go to device manager. Click it. There we see the mice and other pointing devices just click it well we have seen that there are two HID compliant mouse so we have got the a remote control mouse now we are going to close this window click it click it uh, to show you the right button option we again refresh the computer click it 
so the mouse works quite well. Now we will show you the drag and drop option. For this uh, let us take this folder DSP experiment theory just hold it drag it to the up and place it well now double clicking it will open and close it now we'll show you the middle click scroll options for this let us go to a firefox folder here it is now click it now we scroll down and scroll up and it is the middle click go down and go up okay that's all